Hello everyone and welcome to Grand Rapids Quilt Week. I'm here with an old friend, Sally Menke. She may look familiar to you as we've interviewed her before for different quilts that she's had in the Wicked Challenge and in our AQS Quilt Week. And we're honored to have her here today with her blooming windmill quilt. Congratulations and welcome. Thank you, it's so good to be back. Yes. Well, so we want to know all about this quilt, the construction, your because you designed this, correct? I did. Okay. I started with a whimsical bicycle pattern in a Dresden, a, like taking a traditional block and putting it into a more modern art quilt setting. Okay. And I did the whimsical bicycle, and then I added a different bicycle, and then I thought, how else could I use that? Mm -hmm. And so I created another Dresden that sort of looked windmilly yes. and added that as another option to my pattern line. Wonderful. And so uh, now these are raw edge. Tell us about the construction and the different techniques that you've used. Okay, this is a, the background is pieced okay. uh, with just larger pieces in traditional piecing. Okay. Um, the actual windmill is constructed with a bias tape maker. Um, this is the traditional Dresden plate mm -hmm. and then everything else that you see that kind of decorates it mm -hmm. uh, is uh, a raw edge applique technique. I use Misty Fuse, that's my favorite. Sure. And I also use a, uh, lots of lines from the Superior Brand Thread Company. Mm -hmm. um, and so I have like the, the wires on the fence are different weights of their novelty mm -hmm. yarns as mm -hmm. is the quilting. Wonderful, and I love this raw edge. Um, it really makes it come to life and kind of stand off a little bit. Is that why you chose this? Yeah, I just wanted something that was sort of whimsical and could flow around and mm -hmm. add some mm -hmm. movement to the traditional patterns. Right. Now I have to ask about your the quilting in this, um, what you used, and then tell me, your lines are so straight. Did you do this with ruler work? No, I didn't use a ruler work. I have a, a handy quilter Avante machine, okay. and I uh, did an add-on of magnetic channel guide so that it stitches straight and what I do is put it on stitch straight across and then I take the quilt off the machine turn it at a 90 degree angle and stitch straight again which okay. creates the vertical lines and it makes sure that all of these little um, raw edge appliques are stitched down and in place. Absolutely. Well, it's a lovely quilt and just makes it brings so much happiness. So. Okay, and the pattern to mm -hmm. this one and other quilts are available on my Etsy uh, shop at just sallymankeyetsy.com. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much for spending a few minutes with us. I hope you enjoyed meeting Sally again and uh, hearing about her beautiful creation. Uh, we look forward to seeing you at the next Quilt Week.